today we are going to present the idea regarding our business under the subject of entrepreneurship. This is our business model canvas which consists of 9 items. First and importantly, every business must have their target customer. As for our business, we have decided to distribute our product to our important customers through customer segment which focuses on students and lecturers uh, that crave for ready to insert in the campus. Next, we move to value proposition for rapid sandara and crispy pudara. First, it has fresh and crunchy taste where the smell of curry leaf for crispy food and the sweetness for rapid pisang. Plus, both of them have the taste of crunchiness. Second, they give the reminiscence of traditional taste where the customer will not forget the taste whenever they are. Third, the taste with them cannot stop eating once they start. For chocolate dara, first it has premium taste with the milky chocolate. Second, melts once get into the mouth. And third, it's easy to bring with its small package. Next, we go to channels. The best channels we use to reach out our customers is the first through word of mouth, which is direct selling. Second, only social media such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and TikTok. And third is store, where we place our products in the store that are the main focus of customers. Next, as we are in the relationship with customers, we are going to establish the online customer care to reach and serve the customers. We also create supporting members among the customers of the business and integrated through a several discount given during a certain holiday. Next is the key partners. The key partners is the network of suppliers and partners that make the business model work. In Homedara, we have two key partners which is printing and second suppliers even the key activities the key activities we do in our business are first producing products such as chocolate dara second managing stock and finance third packaging for promoting and fifth sales through direct selling and indirect selling such as online social media next is the key resources the key resources is the most important asset required in business model companies in homemade dara, we have two key resources, which is in-house production team and second is raw material supplier, for example like Giant, Lotus, and etc. Next, let us move to the cost structure for our business. Actually, our production gets several costs to make sure all the products were produced in a reasonable manner. Such costs include are the cost of printing, cost of raw material, cost of the power and cost of promotion. There is also the hidden cost incurred at the cost of stationery as well as the overhead cost that the cost of utilities, repair and maintenance can work. Lastly, revenue streams. The ways how we gain the profit from customers is from advertisement related to our products such as interesting pictures and videos of products. Second, promotion such as on ID Factory. Third, giving free testers to the customers and fourth, direct selling. First of all, we decided to produce three main products for our business which are Kerepek Pisang Dara, Chocolate Dara and Kueh Siput Dara and all of them are ready to use next products which convenient for all to grab and consume. Next is the target market. The target market is the potential of customers that we identify to sell product or service. It is easy to us to determine how and where to market our business. In target market, we have three customers that we target. Firstly is using student, second is lecturers, and lastly is neighborhood. Now, let's take a look at the businesses that may compete with our product. Hence, we define several competitors which are Repet Pisang Naga Homemade Nanging, the Research Chocolate Homemade, and Fresh Homemade Kuih Siput Chippy. They all have their own strength which involves competing for alternatives such as loyal customer, the latest production technology, and premium product with lower price. For proposed price of our products, we decided to put a price of 18 ringgit on Repet Pisang Naga, the weight of 500 grams because our target market is adult people, but they managed to buy at that price. For our Kisi Pudara, the proposed price is 15 ringgit, where it comes with a jar, making it convenient to carry and store. The price of Kisi Pudara is not too pricey compared to other competitors. 
For chocolate dara, we made this on the premium ingredients which are chocolate and biscuit. The price is quite affordable where it is about 1 million and 50 cents. So that everyone can purchase and enjoy it. These are the illustration of our products. And these are the sample of our products, Krabi Kusandara, Kwisi Kudara, and Chocolate Dara. Last but not least, for other additional information regarding the business is, we are sell a fresh and homemade snack. Therefore, the products uh, produced is made by 100% Bumi Putra and Muslims. Besides, we are particularly make sure the product is hygiene, clean, and safe to consume by our customers. That's all for our business idea presentation. Thank you so much.